on Fox tonight. He may only be nine years old, but S.J. Manley didn't act like it Tuesday night. His family says he acted like a hero when he pulled his four year old little sister out of their bedroom that went up in flames. Their house in Newry in Oconee County is a complete loss. And this family says in the end they have each other to cling to, but they may need some helping hands along the way. Fox Carolina Shell Ramin spent some time with the family tonight. She's back from Oconee County here in studio. So Shell, we're happy everyone is okay, but how did this happen? Well, Cody, firefighters are still investigating just that. The family says the fire started around an outlet in the kids' bedroom. They did use fire extinguishers to try and put it out, but the flames were just too out of control. This nine-year-old managed to maneuver around the fire and grab his sister. And when I asked what she means to him, his response was, quote, pretty much everything. Looking from the outside, clearly you can tell there was a fire, but once you get in, I mean, everything is nothing but ashes. You don't think it'll happen to you and then once it does it's devastating. Amanda Manley and her family lost everything they've ever worked for inside their new re home. And by the time we got to the top of the stairs, I mean the whole mm -hmm. back half of the house was already in flames. Nine year old SJ says he was in the middle of dreaming about a fire when he woke up face to face with flames inside of his and four year old sister Bailey's bedroom. I see a fire start a fire starting and um, it's crawling up my um, my toy box. It gets higher and it touches the wall. He says there was no thinking, only doing. He picked up his little sister and carried her out of their bedroom. I had to jump over the fire and burnt my heel. I pray that they never lose that type of bond. I, even though they do fuss and fight, I mean, he, he loves her more than anything, and I know that he's always going to be there for her, clearly, because, I mean, and he saved all of us, so... He wasn't worried about anything else, toys, nothing. He was worried about all of us. SJ woke up his parents, giving them enough time to make it out. And I know SJ saved everybody. He did. These parents say there is some hidden beauty in these ashes. It brought out their son's bravery and changed outlooks on the day to day of life. I guess we take things for granted that we don't realize, even something as simple as having a toothbrush. I mean, we didn't even have that. I didn't have shoes on my feet. Nothing. It has really changed my perspective on life as far as not taking anything for granted and appreciating everything you have, I mean, because in an instant it can be gone. This family says they are floored by not only their friends, but complete strangers stepping up to donate anything and everything. In fact, the teddy bear you saw Bailey holding was one of those donations. They say even if it's just a prayer, they are certainly grateful. Cody. What a family there. So, Shell, what are they doing now going forward? Is there any way someone can help that's watching tonight? Yeah, absolutely. Right now, they say they're pretty lucky. They're relying on family to help out with living arrangements and things like that. But there is also a GoFundMe page we have on our website to help out the family. You can find it at foxcarolina.com. Diana.